What's up guys? Hungry Stingram here, back at you with myself. Question of... Today's actually a question instead of a... Well, it's, it's pretty much you can change any topic to become a question, but... I'm going to phrase it in the form of a question today from an anonymous source who says that if I graduate from a top class university like Harvard, Princeton, or Stanford, and I'm only making about a hundred thousand a year, am I considered um, a loser? Okay, this question, um, I don't know. You know, you, some people may be rolling their eyes saying, what? You know, aren't there more important things to think about than trying to think about, oh, then, you know, then try, then trying to think about, um, th this type of issues? But, you know what, there's actually some type of principle behind it. And what, what the principle behind it is that when you start treating not money like a game, in a game of comparison, that's when you start getting into trouble. So maybe you're, um, maybe you're, see, this is, this is the way I'm going to, this is the way I'm going to approach it, is that this is the way I treat money. Money should be used as a tool for you to use. It shouldn't be used as some type of comparison game. You see, when you start placing status symbols on money or something, then you start heading into trouble. And, you know, like, money is just... Um, this is, money is just, you use it to buy what you, what you need to live, and you use it to fulfill your goals in life. Some people, they don't have any goals, they just like to spend money for fun, and then that's, you know, that's, um, I don't know, that's just, it's just, you know, it's just, uh, you know, for, this is, this is, this is so you, you use money to buy this is the way I use money this is just personally the way I use it money should be used for to create food shelter clothing and to help you fulfill your goals by helping you make a better product for the customer or your audience or something that's that's what money should be used for and it should be used for to create a better product to create more advertisement and to help you with your health that's what money should be used for. For your health, for your transportation, for your, um, I don't know, your um, TV and internet, and then for your, um, for your um, advertisements and product for the customer. Now, you know, some people, they start trying to play comparison, start, start trying to play, start pu putting a status symbol on how much money is appropriate because maybe he's making a hundred thousand but all his friends, he's in a powerful group of people this guy is making, has friends who are millionaires well, you know, because you know what, um, it's not a bad thing to want to have more money, I'd rather have more of it than not enough of it, but when you start playing games too much, start playing comparison you start becoming less objective about what it actually is for. Now, to solve all these problems away, I'm going to just talk about three basic principles to money that is so simple. This, this, is, this is coming from a long line of bad experiences, then, whole, then reading this after I read these things in, a, in the self-employment um, book, these three principles, I had these bad experiences and I read these three things, they all connected together. So this is what the three principles say. Uh, um, three principles say that um, if you're making more, I mean, you have to make more money than you're spending. So if you make only, if you're spending seven, you have to, so if you're spending seven hundred dollars a day you have to be making sure you make eight hundred dollars a day to compensate for that and then the second principle is pretty much like the first principle but reversed is spending less money than you make so you're only making six hundred dollars a day you make sure you only spend five hundred dollars a day the third principle is any money that you don't use up 
any money that you don't spend, you gotta make sure that you save it up because you don't know when there's gonna be like a bad storm coming your way or some bad crap happens or sometimes when you just don't have a job or don't have any source of income and you just gotta lay low for a while then you just gotta like then you're gonna be thankful that you have savings in your account so it coasts you through so those are three rules to money to using money objectively and not putting status symbols and playing comparison games with it too much is these three rules of money that if you use properly you should be able to this is just three basic rules they wrote lots of financial books about how to use money three basic rules and you know just make sure you don't lose money in the long run it's just three basic rules right here so i hope that helps guys i'll see you guys next time